Parents, why are you so crazy? Okay, why do my parents feel the need to get hold of me like 20 times a day? And when they can't get hold of me for like, I don't know, 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes, they flip out and they think that I'm either dead, kidnapped, or ignoring them. I swear to God, my dad couldn't get hold of me the other day for like an hour because I was at work doing work. Okay, I was in a small meeting with somebody and he couldn't get hold of me because he was taking care of my mechanical problem with the car. So I finally get back to my desk and I see that I get a missed call from him a couple times and I'm like, okay, I'll call him back. Then I see he texted me and his texts are, get this, hold on, call me again. Call me immediately. Stop playing games. Call me. It's urgent. What? I'm like, Dad, hold on. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm traveling, first of all, from one building to another. I was in another building. I, I wasn't even at my desk. I wasn't even at my phone. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then my mom, my mom, if she can't get hold of me, she, she like, panics. She thinks that I'm ignoring her, and she will call me like 20 times in a row. Like, leave a message. I will see it. I will call you. And if I don't call you for a while, it's probably because I'm busy or sleeping or something. It, I, I, I haven't died. I haven't been kidnapped by the mafia. Okay. Um, and I'm not ignoring you, even though you are annoying as hell. Are anybody else's parents like this? So, about the Sandy Hook Elementary shooting. Look, people have been making all these comments and trying to find the solution to ending the violence in schools, like throwing out the video games. Now there are children um, in that district who are, oh my god, they're now th collecting all these violent violent video games and, and throwing them away because it's like they're terrified now that maybe this is what brainwashing their their fellow peers into uh, creating violence. But that's not the answer. The answer is, <laughs> no, it's not arming schools. Oh my god, that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. The answer is, Get mental help, okay? When you feel like you ha are so overwhelmed in your life and you're so stressed out that you just can't take it anymore, and there are two paths that you can take, okay? You can either get help, basically talk to a family member or a friend, or go talk to a professional, or you can just go nuts and just start shooting yourself or other people and just go absolutely bash it crazy. Obviously, the first choice is the correct one because uh, that way you get professional help and you can maybe resolve the problem and everything will go well because that is the correct thing to do. Um, you know, there are always services available, like I even if you don't have health insurance. There you can always find help. <sighs> what this guy did was the scummiest, most awful thing in the world. Because a parent should never, ever lose their child. And I honestly hope that his spirit does not rest until the victim's families do. So this past weekend, something amazing happened. I got to meet Elijah Wood, somebody that I've been a fan of since I was like 15 years old, and it was amazing. Um, I always knew that he was like the nicest guy in the world because I kept like hearing stories of other people meeting him, and um, I knew people who met him, and like the old, everybody always says that he's like the nicest guy, and since I've been a fan of his for so long, like, I feel like he's been a part of my everyday life because I talk about him so much, and, like, I always make up anecdotes about him, like, I would, 
me and my cousin and I and, like, my best friends and I would always share all these pictures about him, and we have all these, like, inside jokes about him and Dominic Monaghan and Billy Boyd and Orlando Bloom and Vico Martinson. So, like, I feel like he's such a huge part of my life. So when I, when I met him, it felt like meeting an old friend. It didn't feel like meeting somebody for the first time. So it was it was almost like meeting, yeah, somebody that I've always known. So awesome. Here's the clip. <laughs> yeah, she is. No, that's not your bird, honey bunny. <laughs> she really is. Elijah. Hi, my name is Kitty. I've been a fan of yours since I was 15. I'm 30 now. I just wanted to meet you, dude. Look, biggest Lord of the Rings fan ever. And like, I totally adore you. I've seen every single one of your movies. I just wanted to finally meet you because, like, I've been a fan of yours forever. Like, I'm such a huge fan. Thank you. Can I give you a hug? Sure. Oh my god, I totally love you. Like, I. You're amazing. Just want to finally meet you. My dream has come true. Now that I have met you. <laughs> You and Ian McKellen are like my favorite actors in the whole oh, wide cool. world. I worship you guys. Thank you. So anyway, continue what you are doing. You're awesome. Thank you. Worship you. Bye. So we were there for this event called Save Henry's Tacos, organized by Aaron Paul. And I didn't get to meet him, but I was really, really close. I um, got to meet his fiance, though, Lauren. Lauren is the sweetest, and I got to talk to her a little bit. And she is, like, the nicest girl. And um, I got to congratulate her on their engagement. Congratulations again, guys. You guys are, like, the perfect couple. Some clips from the event. Oh. 